Welcome to another Davidson Football Coaches Show with Coach Paul Nichols. I'm Mark Clemens, and it's always presented by J.J. Wade and Associates. Coach, we get uh, a San Diego team over the weekend, and always a tough assignment. It's almost have to be a perfect game to, to come out with a win. Yeah, absolutely. San Diego obviously is a, the, the, the really the standard in our league right now as it relates to, to the last couple of years and, and certainly uh, have done a tremendous job of coaching their players and, and uh, recruiting good players and developing those guys. And, uh, they do a nice job across the board. Uh, they, they execute at a really high level consistently, and, and that really forces you on all three uh, phases of the game to really execute at a really, really high level. And, you know, they made some good plays, and uh, I thought we had our chances really early in the football game to, to build some momentum, and, and uh, unfortunately weren't able to capitalize that, and, and, uh, and then it became a little bit of a long, long day. Coach, now there are some good things that you take out of that, and then you just move on. Yeah, I, you know, I told the team after the game is that, uh, you know, it's win, lose, or draw. In 12 hours, guys, we're going to turn the page, and uh, we're going to learn from this video, and, uh, and we're going to turn the page because there's another opportunity next week. And uh, uh, I thought there were some good things. I thought, uh, you know, across the board uh, there was some good effort, uh, and I thought across the board there were some good plays made on, 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 on a number of different occasions. Uh, but unfortunately, just not consistent enough, and that's something that we, we need to continue to work on. Uh, Coach, as, as we, before we turn the page, let's talk about award winners from yeah, last sure. week. Obviously, uh, special teams-wise, boy, local guy T.J. Elliott uh, did a tremendous job on kickoff return and uh, also on, uh, on the uh, punt return unit and thought that uh, offensively Will Wicks uh, continues to, to show up. Uh, he got behind their secondary a couple of times and uh, had some good catch and runs. Uh, felt like uh, Nathan Campbell had a heck of a big hit there early in the football game, and that's something that we really pride ourselves on, being a physical football team on all three phases. And we gave away three extra effort awards. Uh, really felt like Satchel Moore on uh, West Duggar's long run was doing a nice job blocking down the field. And Steven Spears and George Hatalowicz did a nice job and, and just overall pursuit. And that comes down to making a decision that I'm going to play exceptionally hard. And, for the demonstration players of the week, special teams-wise, we, we awarded Clayton Kent uh, the, the, the special teams demonstration player of the week. And on defense, Chase Darnell. And on offense, we awarded Will Berkey. And so I really feel like those three guys continue to build and grow. And the future is really bright for them and, and as well as our program. Coach, it's good to hear you. A couple new names, too, that pop in there. A little bit of competition there. Well, there's no question. And as we continue to recruit and grow and develop, uh, there, there, there is going to be increased competition, just like there has been this year. And, and uh, any time that you've got competition, you've got an opportunity for growth. Not only growth to make each other better, but you also have growth because uh, this is a game where people get dinged up a little bit. And so you need depth and you need to be able to plug the next guy in, not just on offense or defense, but on special teams. And it shows up special teams wise first because all of a sudden you're, you're, you're having to plug holes and a guy hadn't necessarily played that position and it becomes an issue and that gets exposed. And when you spread out like on the cover teams, coach, that's that, that uh, one, one position it, makes a it's, difference. It's, it's one on one. You know, it's, it's, it's point of attack across the board on the kickoff coverage unit, on the punt coverage unit. But it's, it's the same on the flip side, on the kickoff return unit and the punt return unit. It's one on one blocking. And uh, we got to be able to make it across the board so that our returner can get north. And uh, unfortunately, at times, we haven't been able to do that. But at times, we've been really good on both of those units uh, and uh, really felt like special teams-wise across the board this year, we've played relatively uh, consistent. Coach, now we've got one more chance for 2017, a trip to Moorhead State. Big trip and uh, last opportunity for 19 seniors to uh, practice and play in a football game for the Red and Black. And, Really going to be a great week for, for that group as well as our entire program. Felt like we came out last night at practice you know, on Sunday and had a spirited workout and really have, have every expectation that our team responds well and comes back and plays as hard as they've ever played. And, and uh, if last night's any indication, then we feel really good. Morehead State's talented. They've got a highly athletic quarterback. They do a great job schematically on offense. Uh, Rob Tenner, the head football coach there, does a great job. On defense, they, they are very, very athletic. They make, they make you make plays because they're going to play man coverage across the board and, and uh, really put you at the point of attack. And uh, special teams-wise, they've been very consistent. They've got threatening returners, and, and they've got good schemes. And so it's going to be a huge challenge, uh, one that we're looking forward to. But uh, I can't wait to go on the road with this group uh, one last time in 2017 and, uh, and go out there and see what we can get done. All right, Cage.
One o'clock kickoff at Jane Stadium, Moorhead, Kentucky. It's Moorhead State hosting the Davidson Wildcats. This has been the Davidson Football Coaches Show with Coach Paul Nichols. I'm Mark Plemons, presented by J.J. Wade & Associates. Thanks for joining us.